Right, moving on with this Vizsla here. So, one of the issues is, as I think I mentioned before, he pulls like a train. And the, the young children in the family don't really like enjoy walking him because he's hard work to walk. So, key thing on the requirements checklist is to teach him to walk nicely. I've said it a thousand times before. We'll get taking this very slowly to allow him to process what we want him to do. And we need him to learn the correct position, which is just there. And he's getting this, this is still loose. We're not even having to check him at all. Come on, Rudy, good boy. And as you saw there, it's not just pulling forward, it's also lagging back. If you're behind, you're not right. If you're in front, you're not right. If you're directly beside, guess what? You're right. Heel, good boy. So we're slowing it all the way down to allow him to learn, to allow him to process, but just as, as important, allowing us to praise him for doing good. Good lad. So we're gonna go into him, heel, and then we're gonna go out to him, good boy. To the point where we can walk normally at a relatively normal pace. We're not having to crab, we're not having to walk slowly because he's picking this up really well. Good boy. To the point where we're walking, I stop, he stops. Good boy. Check in there, carry on going. I stop, he stops. Good boy. I stop, he stops. Good boy. And I'm not checking him, he's stopping of his own accord now because he's now learned and realized this is the right place to be. If I'm there, I feel pressure. If I'm there, I feel pressure. When I say pressure, the lead will go tight. Yeah, so he'll feel a sensation around his neck and then he will either correct himself by stepping back or he'll look at you and go, what have you stopped for? Either time we are interacting with him. Every time he looks at us, we're touching him, we're speaking to him, reassuring him, we're giving him food, we're offering him praise to allow him to process that actually what I'm doing is right. So we're getting on really, really well just with this hill work. And as everything, you've got to teach a lesson in a low distraction environment before we can even take him outside. Try it again. I stop, he stops. Good boy. I stop, he stops. Good boy. One more time. Come on in, heel. And also what we're doing is we're teaching him actually what the word heel means. So if I turn outside and go heel, I want him to acknowledge what that word means and continue to remain in the correct position. I'm not forcing him round like so. Heel. Good boy, good lad. He is doing that all of his own accord. He is doing that now because he has learnt a lesson. And the reason why he's learnt a lesson, heel, is because he's learnt the benefits of doing it right through positivity. But also, he's learnt the, the, the negatives of doing it wrong through negativity. Good boy. Walking into him. I stop, he stops. Come on in. I stop, he stops. Finger and thumb, not even holding this lead now. Good boy, I stop, he stops. Good boy, heel. Good fellow, well done, good boy. Good boy, ain't you? Hey, you're a good boy. Good boy. Good lad. Good boy. 